side of the table, sneaks it past it. There's the grunt, not a full-on scream. There's the grunting back end. <laughs> Taking flight, as you said. See if we watch it here. Keep your eyes. Okay, the dugger, there it is. The fighter. Tried to slow it down. A clever idea, Roni Banja. Incredible point. The side spin that they bring, the counter attacks. He takes it, Uncor saves it, and a celebration comes out. He's coming back to life, a little bit of breath within, and there's the roar. Will we see it in game number three? More fluid in the backhand here, he's finding himself. Look at the angle on this one, side and topspin. This point is perfectly played. Uncle plays everything to the backhand corner safely. Oh, right off the bounce, suffocating timing, real neat. Driving Uncle behind the table, gets a push on the receive, and then a passive shot to follow up. Everything after this is self-defense. The racket flies. Send it down now. Stay calm. Because Aika Mukherjee is going to take on Sutasini Sivetapur, and this is a replay of last year's semi final. Kill shot. That one doesn't come back from Ding Ning, the Queen of Hearts, to Sun Ying Sha, the world number one. Almost gets it back in play, but you can. Oh, a little bit off the top of the net. What a block with the forehand, the coverage. Short side of the table, Sutasini puts it past on the parallel to level the playing field. It's one game apiece and it'll come down to the decider. The third game as the score gets tighter. Finding the wide corner here. So the CD needs only one opportunity. Well, up next would be the mixed doubles encounter where Natalia Bayor will partner Anirban Ghosh and they'll be up against Nitya Srimani and Cho Sung Min. Kane of a forehand here as he gets that racket low for the racket speed, full stroke forehand. A uh, chop, a run by chopping here, the placement testing. The serve does it outright, Tomahawk, and he points back the way Uncor would have. on it. Anirban has been quite a specialist in the double. Oh, what a save. Cho Sung Min getting it from near the ground to float it, black, uh, float it back. And then still Nitya had to play a big shot. This one to catch. Ah, beautiful. Exploited on that wide forehand. That backhand as clean as can be, sterilizing and unsterilizing.
untouchable. Sets up match point. Yeah. Natalia Bayo with the tracker that seals the win for the Puneri budget. Under pressure, the parallel forehand to dodge Cho Sung Min. And it all pays off immediately as soon as it come down, comes down. She knows she's got herself a winner. Jean Montero needs to start winning. If you take a look at it from a Puneri Paltan perspective, he'll be up against Cho Sung Min. What a fight for the point here. Perfect placement and the power. Oh, that was one for the ages. The pop, the sound of the racket from both ends. Chop comes back long. Chop! He takes it to El Montero in the counter loop exchange. Oh, when he gets it back. Impressive play after Joao Montero sends Cho Sung Min on the chase. Montero's expelled the ghost of matches past. Has finally registered a win in Puneri Pantan Colors. Just after this, Natalia Bayor and Nitishri Mani. To be that aggressive with Ante. What a point here. It took a long time for Nitya to earn this advantage. to get through. She handles the serve. Bayor brings it home for the Puneri Paltan. Not easy to rally with. Ripping backhand. It's a setup to the short side. Latoya Bayor saves it from under the table. Takes this game, she takes the match. Yeah, it's one of those points where you think luck is it coming your way, but then what a recovery, and then it just crushes your soul, doesn't it? In the first time of asking, the match is sealed after the tie was sealed already.